The fluid now continues along the nephron, entering the distal convoluted tubule and finally the collecting duct. In these last two regions of the nephron, fine-tuning of the body fluid composition is achieved. The precise amounts of water and salts reabsorbed is important in osmoregulation. This is one role of the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct. They also control the blood pH. We will look at these functions in more detail in another video. The cells of the distal convoluted tubule have a similar structure to those of the proximal convoluted tubule, with microvilli lining the inner surface area for reabsorption and numerous mitochondria to supply energy needed for active transport. The collecting duct carries fluid from the outer region of the medulla next to the cortex to the pyramids and deep in the medulla. It passes through the same regions as the deep parts of the loops of Henry. As the fluid moves down the collecting duct, the tissue in the medulla surrounding the duct gets more and more concentrated as we mentioned before. The very low water potential in this region once more provides a water potential gradient. Water therefore leaves the collecting duct by osmosis and moves into the tissues around it. It moves into the blood capillaries, the vasa recta, and is transported away. The actual amount of water loss is controlled by ADH, which I'll cover in a future video. Here, we can see a comparison of the composition of plasma and urine. The urine has a higher concentration of all solutes except sodium ions and normally lacks protein and glucose. The loop of Henle helps to conserve water. The lower the water potential it can build up, the greater will be the water potential gradient between the fluid inside the collecting ducts and the tissues outside the duct. This enables more water to be drawn out of the collecting duct, resulting in a smaller volume of more concentrated urine. So folks, that's it for selective reabsorption. If you found this video to be helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for lots more tutorials coming your way. Any questions or comments you have, just message me down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. I always love to hear from you all, so thank you guys so so very much for watching and I'll see you next time.